it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm back with another haul video. This time around I've got items from a rummage sale. I went there this morning and I was actually 20 minutes early, first one in the door. Didn't know that was going to happen but I gave it a shot. I walked up, opened it, said are you guys open? And she said, oh I guess so. So I walked in and I was able to get some pretty cool things being the first one there. Let's take a look. All right, so I got some interesting things here, some new things that I haven't tried before, so I'm really excited about those. But starting right over here, we have some really interesting Nico brand. They are Christmas time pattern. This is a five piece set right here, and I have two of them. So they were only $5. I think that's a spectacular price. And I looked them up really quickly while I was there, and they go for about $50 to $60. It really depends, but I currently already listed them for $65 with free shipping. So I estimate that the shipping is going to be about $15 of that. So I'll walk away with a little over $40 profit after everything's considered. So that is really awesome and they are in great shape. So I'm really happy with that. And I have to give a shout out once again, I did this on Instagram story. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I am on Instagram and you can kind of keep up with me there. But I gave a shout out to Ann Eckhart because she currently, she just put out a video, a what sold video herself, and she said that a picture of the same thing here sold for $70 with shipping included. So that's really good advice from her, and I'm glad that I watched that video because I don't know if I would have grabbed, the, grabbed these. So really awesome with that. Picked up this Boyd's Bear. It's not very old at all. It's made in the mid-90s or so. It, it even says that right there, 1990 to 96. This I paid $4 for right on his butt, you can see there. <laughs> and yeah, so the Boyd's Bears, they have movable arms and legs and heads. And that's how you know that that's what they are, but also the fact that this one has a label to it. But this will go in the booth. Boyd's Bears go pretty well around here. So I'm gonna try to probably sell him for $12 in the booth. I think that's a pretty good price, considering. Online, these don't tend to do that spectacular. So yeah, I think he'll end up in the booth. Also in this sort of plush land, we have this Beanie Baby. This is one of the originals, that's why I grabbed him. And this is another thing that I just recently learned about. So there are original Beanie Babies, the original ones that came out in the 90s, I think 96 or so, but this is one of them. This is called Gobbles, I think that's his name. Gobbles, is that you? Let's see. Gobbles is the name, birthday 96. So one thing to consider when buying BB, BBs, Beanie Babies is the tag. This has to be in great shape without any bins or anything like that for a better value. And so that's true with this tag here and this tag here. Also, people like to have the original PVC pellets in it. I don't know enough about why that they would need to be replaced, but the originals are best. So the plastic PVC pellets. Well, all that story for what? Well, these things go for on average about five to $10. I paid two. It's a little bit of a learning experience, but certain ones of these do actually command higher prices. That's the story that I'm trying to present to you with that lengthy explanation, I guess. Okay, so right over here, I paid $3 for this really interesting wash stand in a doll size, but it's awesome. I think it's really cool. This will go in the booth and I'll sell it for, I'm not sure, probably $15, I would imagine. So what can you do with this? Well, I thought it'd be really cute if you had a collection of miniatures. You could stick them in the cabinets, stick them on top. What a great way to display them. But other than that, it's also for a doll. But really good price, I think, $3. Took a chance on that. Right over here, I grabbed a Jim Shore figurine. It's actually my first Jim Shore purchase. Earlier, about maybe two months ago, month and a half ago, I missed out on something I could have bought at a yard sale. There was a pair of these, but not this one. They were Halloween themed Jim Shore and they were selling them for $12 for the pair. That was a spectacular price, especially being Halloween just ahead of Halloween because this was right before Halloween. So just saying that $12 I paid for this, it'll sell for about $100 online. It has the original box and the foam and everything. So that'll be easy to ship and it's made by Inesco. So it's an Esco brand, Jim Shore. Oh, I forgot to say what this is. This is Scarlet, no, is that her name, Scarlet? Scarlet, Scarlet O'Hara, I think. Yeah, there she is, Scarlet O'Hara. I believe this is a 2015 figure, so not that old, but they do command pretty good prices on eBay, so that's where that one will be going. 
where are we at? Okay, at the same sale, right through here, I grabbed this fruit. I love buying fake fruit. It's it's fun, I don't really find it. I think it's pretty pricey if you buy it new, but I paid a dollar for this bag of strawberries and then 50, no, 25 cents for these cherries. So that'll be fun. I really don't know why I'm buying them. There's not really a rhyme or reason to it. I do have some different bowls and things in my curio cabinet that I will stick these into, but you know, I'm kind of also wanting to make, this is off topic, but I'm kind of wanting to make some fake ice cream out of Play-Doh, like scoops of fake ice cream and then put them in Sunday cups. I don't know why, it's just it's just my brain, I guess. Okay, so uh, the stuff in the middle is slightly a different topic, but we'll get onto it. We'll continue this way, same sale. I bought these bath bombs, it's a set of three of them, it was only a dollar. So I was originally thinking, gosh, I could use these. But then I was thinking, well, I wanted to try out how well bath bombs sold in my booth because I do have a way to sell them in my booth along with the soaps that I sell. And so they were a dollar for all three. I'm gonna price these individually, take them out of the box and put, I think $4 for each one of these and see what they do. If they sell pretty quickly and easily, then that might be enough of a test to go ahead and order some of these from the place that I ordered my soaps from. So we'll find out how these go, but there's vanilla coconut, evening primrose, and lavender. Very awesome. So definitely different, different item to sell. Okay, these two items here, I paid, well, about $2 for this one and $3 for this one. So I grabbed them for two separate reasons. Well, this one is old, it's actually made in 1968. It has sort of a red felted front to it. And then, Here's the information on the inside, Whitman Publishing Division, 1968. There is a few different versions of this. There's at least two different versions by Clement here, but there's other authors that made these Nightmare Before, Night Before Christmas books all throughout the, you know, uh, well, forever. <laughs> you know, they, they made them for many, many years. And then here we have a Deck the Halls book. This is mostly a collector's type of book if you wanna learn more about collectible ornaments mainly. These are the screw-in type, really interesting, from the 20s. So this is something that I have a little bit of a gap of knowledge with, so I'd like to flip through here and learn a little bit about it, and thought that was pretty nifty there, huh? Real nifty. <laughs> so this book is awesome, love it, and by the way, this sells for about $20, this book right here online. Right back here, we have a little bit of Halloween. Now, this is not as old as it looks, unfortunately. It's sort of a reproduction version of a paper mache type of a deal, but um, I don't know exactly when it's made. I tried doing research on it to see, well, if it was reproduced, when was it reproduced? And I cannot figure that out. I did only pay $2 for it, which I thought was an outstanding price, even being a reproduction. But you can see up close here, really interesting, and it looks very realistic, and I love the See here, I love this little candy bucket right here. There's that. I believe this is lithographed as well, which adds to the authenticity of it. So all in all, really interesting. But reasons why I don't think it's original, well, the material itself is pretty firm. It's in really great shape, and I do see hot glue usages like here with this pipe cleaner business. So I think for those reasons, it's not old unfortunately, but if you happen to know anything about this being a reproduction, when it was reproduced, I'd like to know, but I cannot find a thing about it online. I will keep it though. It'll go great in my collection. I grabbed these two spools here. I have not bought these or sold these before. I, they tend to usually go higher than I'm willing to pay. So I was able to get, the, get them today. This one was $2 and this one was a dollar. So here we have a little bit of a marking on there. I, I will... I think that these would go in the booth. I would have to double check online to see if these are like really, I don't know, collectible and people like to buy them online. I'm sure they do, but I'm thinking that this is probably an $8 one and that one there is probably a $15 one. Hopefully I'm not way off base here. I took a chance, a dollar and two, it's not that big of a deal. So the items here in the middle, like I said, are, are separate. They're not really from the same sale. I went to the Thursday flea marketplace that I go to and sort of struck out. I mean, I probably should have just waited another week, but I went, I just decided to go. So a few hauls back, 
I bought a trash can, a gold trash can. And with that came a story of that. I seen it at another estate sale, a company that was trying to sell it for $20, same exact trash can. And I was like, well, that's way too expensive. And then I go to the flea market, find the trash can there, marked down to, what was it, $4? I don't know, $5, I think. And I was so surprised by that. Well, here are the other two items that was being sold alongside of the trash can at the original, original sale. So I don't remember how much these were sold for or trying to sell for originally, but I ended up buying the pair of them for a dollar. So really interesting. Um, this, I have been... Look, this stuff has been at that flea market for a few weeks now, and I've been just not buying it on purpose because I'm not that excited about it. Why? Well, I don't like these bows. I think that's sort of hokey looking. If it didn't have the bows, I would actually be more likely to buy it. So I went ahead and bought it for a dollar for the pair. I'm going to sell them together. And I think together they'll sell for about $20, just like that. So, yep waited for them originally they were separately i think these were maybe two dollars starting out at the flea market then they marked them down to a dollar piece and they stacked them together and now they're a dollar for the pair so either way bought them sell them for about 20 bucks i also bought this box of ribbon here i paid four dollars for it but there's a lot of ribbon and i didn't have any so let me actually come right around the table and show you up close what we've got there are some different types of ribbon in here not just christmas even though this was with the christmas stuff really fun red plaid or a gingham checkered love that and then this strawberry one with the lattice and the flowers awesome and then this one love that plaid very cool reminds me of like a dog like a collie or something for some reason and then this one is an ivy the rest of these oh and this one here sort of a 70s hodgepodge of fabrics going on okay so yeah the rest of these are more christmas themed and it's on even on like a little dowel so i think with these they'd be great to use in the booth and actually the owner of the 10 pen antique mall where i have a booth that she recommended that i take some ribbon and tie them around things for the christmas season and tie bows around them it just helps the aesthetics of everything makes it more christmasy and likely to sell probably so yeah i mean considering all the ribbon and stuff that we have here a great deal for four dollars but as far as these retro ones these are very cool and they would look great in the 50s theme booth even as like edging edging along shelves so love that and i think i covered just about everything on this table yeah surely did but thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe Bye bye